The problem is we have an N62 that is very stubborn to get unstuck or cleaned up in a secondary air injection system. You might be familiar with our N62 air cleaning kit, which is traditionally our first line of offense. There is a video on it here on our website that shows how you can insert a tube, clean out the galley. This method has been used by all German Auto on more than 50 cars now. Out of those 50 cars, we have had a total of two cars that didn't come clean using this method. So in an effort on saving the customer's time and for the shops to be able to sell the job, we have developed the carbon cleaning hook tool. In the end, it comes down to money. In a perfect world, money no object, you could take the cylinder head off, remove the valves, and drill it out from the inside, but because it's a $10,000 plus dollar repair, it's not really that feasible to do on an older car, and there really is no reason because we, have as always, have come up with a smarter way. So essentially this is a very inexpensive and very simple tool, and what it does is it allows you to mechanically, if the first method of cleaning it out with carburetor cleaner, the brush and compressed air will not work. It allows you to come into the exhaust port with this hook tool, like this. It's designed to come straight back up into the port and into the crossover tube right here. And as you work it through up into the galley, it goes the full distance and into the main port, which now has opened up the air passage and reestablished the air injection into the vehicle. So let me explain about the tool. It's a 6061 handle, knurled, so it's easy to hold on to, even if you have oil and debris in your hands. The hook itself, even though it looks very simple, there's a lot of work that has gone into this particular piece. Of course, we tried the coat hanger, the welding rod, and all those different things, and found that it was almost impossible to do it with those type of tools. So what we ended up doing is out of a very high strength stainless steel, forming it and shaping it to this shape of a hook, including the grinding that makes it a couple of knife edges on each side right here. And then heat treating the blade so it has a very high strength, won't lose its edge, and also is very tough and is very effective in cleaning out the carbon inside of the cylinder head. So, let me show you how to do the procedure with the carbon hook tool. Obviously, when a car comes in, typically there will only be one of the banks that uh, will not clear the codes and come clean using the traditional method if you have a really, really stubbornly plucked up car. So, in order to do the cleaning, you will have to remove the catalytic converter on bank one or bank two depending on which one is plugged up. Now, the objective obviously is to having not to remove the engine from the car. So the engine stays in. It is a little bit of a job removing the catalytic converter from the car depending on what model. Around five hours is book time, but it's nothing compared to the book time of removing the engine, which is 20.6 hour according to all data. So it's a big savings for the customer and it's a way to get the job done, whether you are an individual working on your own car or whether you are a shop trying to do a job for a paying customer. So I should add that you want to have the exhaust valves closed on the cylinder that you're working on to avoid the carbon from falling into the combustion chamber and the cylinder. In order to do the cleaning, inserting the tool into the port with the hook in the center. Once you are into the port, you want to go into the valve pocket where the crossover port is with the end of the tool. Into the hole, rotate it a little bit, and you can hear the little click and it goes into the port. At that point, as you can see in this particular port, there's been a lot of carbon buildup in this area right here where it is dark, but from here and up to here where it's nice and clean, there has been no carbon buildup. This is pretty typical 
for what we have found on the cars that we've done. The reason is, in the beginning, when up in here, you have to wiggle a little bit from side to side to kind of work the hook to the carbon that is deposited there. You'll feel all of a sudden that it kind of pops through and then you of course continue pulling it all the way up to make sure you get full penetration up into the main rail. Come back down again with this. So here's seen directly into the exhaust port, which is about what you'll see when you're underneath the vehicle looking up into the engine. You start with inserting the tool into the port that you want to clean into that valve pocket, pulling back up, wiggling it through the carbon, and eventually breaking through and coming up into that hole. When you transition from that hole to the next hole, it's important that you go all the way back in with the tool, rotate to the center, and pull out. Reinsert the tool into the valve pocket that you're now cleaning next, Rotate the tool over to where it clicks into the big hole, transitions into the crossover port, wiggle it to break through the carbon. Sometimes you have to do a lot of movement from side to side like this. Continue until you can feel it break through. And when it's all the way up, pull it all the way up to ensure you have the entire length of the crossover port cleaned out. Come back into the pocket, rotate the hook to the center like this, and pull it straight out. You cannot transition from one port and over into the other one because you'll be in a severe angle and you will end up bending the prong. Should you bend it slightly, that's not a problem. You can just bend it back by hand here until you're approximately 25 millimeters of one inch distance from the back of the hook to the tip of the hook. We do sell extra blades, they do wear out over time, and you can damage them if you get really manly with it and don't pay attention to coming straight in and out of the port. But altogether, it's very quick cleaning the ports. Just come in, insert the tool, wiggle it to the carbon, and come all the way back out. This will ensure that every single port is flowing from the main galley and into the crossover tube into every single port. And as always, all of our products are made in the USA.